happy Monday. The start of a new week. And I failed last week. <laughs> I failed last week to get you guys a video every day, Monday through Friday. I don't know why I ever think I could get a video out five days in a row. Because something always happens in life uh, that makes it impossible for me. <laughs> I have good intentions for you guys. To get videos out Monday through Friday. We'll try again this week. We'll see what happens. Um, so if you saw on my Facebook post. Or on the YouTube community page. Mr. Grant. Saturday late morning. I noticed. Um, it wasn't late morning. It was probably about 10. Um, once I was fully awake. Um, got everybody fed and really was paying attention to him. I noticed he was squinting again in his right eye, the one that had the corneal ulcer. Um, and I noticed he had some drainage going on in that corner of his eye um, by his nose um, looked inflamed again. Look at Max. Max, what are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, looked inflamed again. So wasn't thinking... Because I was still half asleep. Um, I have a hard time getting fully cognitive uh, in the morning. <laughs> um, was thinking it was Sunday morning. Uh, and it was Saturday morning. So I was thinking, oh, i got to wait till Monday to call the vet. Well, if I would have been thinking straight and would have realized it was Saturday morning, I may have been able to get him into the vet because our vet's open till noon on Saturday. Um, but didn't realize it was Sunday. Till I was looking at my um, comments on my Facebook post about it. And someone reminded me that today's Saturday. Because um, I had said, oh, I got to call the vet tomorrow. And she said, today's Saturday, so you're going to have to wait till Monday. <laughs> and then I thought, darn it, I could have called him today. Anyways, so, yeah, so I called this morning. <laughs> um, before I called this morning, though, on Saturday, when I realized this was going on, I cleaned his eye with a wet um, washcloth and got it all cleaned up and found the medications that he used to take. I still had a couple left. I had the antibiotic eye drops and I had the uh, tear drops for dry eye because uh, his last procedure he had in his eye could cause dry eye. And I still had some of that left because... She, she told me to only just to give it to him for two weeks after we realized his corneal ulcer was gone. She said, give it to him for another two weeks and then we'll stop. So I'm wondering if maybe we shouldn't have stopped uh, the drops for dry eye. Not sure. Not sure what causes his eye to start having issues again. But I really don't think he has an ulcer going on again. Now, I'm no vet, so I don't know. Uh, so that's why I'm taking, today, I'm taking him today at 4.30 going to get that checked out but I really don't think he has an ulcer going on I think his eye was just irritated so because his eyes looking he's still squinting a little bit but it's looking a lot better today after having those drops throughout Saturday throughout Sunday and then this morning um he's not having the drainage as bad he's holding his eye open more he is doing just a teeny bit of squinting so um, yeah, so we'll see what they say at 4.30 when we go to the vet. I'm hoping it's not too bad a news. <laughs> I'm praying. I'm praying. Because as soon as I saw his eye acting up, I was like, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> um, but what can you do? Um, I'm hoping I caught it. I caught it really fast because he wasn't pawing at his eye like last time. Last time he was pawing at his eye, it was really bothering him. And he doesn't seem to be in pain or anything. I did give him some gabapentin because I still had some gabapentin left um, from his last procedure when he was having problems with his eye. Um, ran out of that though uh, yesterday. So um, he hasn't had that because I thought, well, I'll just give it to him just in case he is in pain. Um, since he can't talk to me and tell me. But by his actions, he was acting normal. He was running around outside. Wasn't pawing at it. I don't think he was in pain. I think it was just irritated. So, but just wanted to give it to him just in case. Uh, yeah, so. 
So yeah, that's what's been going on this weekend. <laughs> Worrying about Grant's eye and praying that it's not an ulcer again. Um, could be allergies because I noticed on my, what I call my poop shoes, the shoes I use to go pick up landmines outside, I've been having this orange um, coloring on them. And I don't think it's pollen. I don't know if there's some kind of like a, maybe some kind of fungus or something on the grass because it's been so wet here. So, because I noticed when it's wet out, um, Milo, last night, especially Milo and Miggy, when they came in, because um, my husband was playing fetch with them, they had orange all over their feet. Um, so I've been, ha I've been trying to rinse off their feet and wipe them when they come in. So I don't know if maybe it irritated his eye. I don't think so though. I don't think so because this happened before and we didn't have that orange stuff going on. So, um, I was just thinking in my mind, what could it have been? Some people said, well, you just groomed him. I did. Well, was it Thursday? I groomed his face and his body, but it didn't start happening until Saturday. And I did finally get his legs groomed up. Tom had to hold him. He let me do his front legs on the ground out here on the carpet. Let me do his front legs, um, with a muzzle on. Didn't uh, have any problems with that, but with his back legs, Tom had to hold him um, over here in this chair and hold him so that his legs were kind of hanging out in front of him. He was comfortable. He wasn't uncomfortable. He was perfectly fine. Didn't growl, didn't do anything. He just knew that he couldn't move and it, it was getting done. So he just, <laughs> he just laid there and I got his back legs done. So he's all groomed up. There's a little wispy, wispy hairs here and there. It's not perfect, but he's cleaned up good and he won't have any kind of mats or anything. So finally got him done. I'm very much a procrastinator, you guys. Yes, I am. When I get my mind set to I'm going to get something done, I'll do it. But then other things, I'll just say, oh, I'll get it done tomorrow. Oh, I'll do it. I got I got another day. <laughs> um, but once I then get my mind set to it, I get it done. <laughs> it just sometimes takes me a while. Right, Miggy? Right, Miggy? Yeah? <laughs> so, yeah, I got a package. Let's go out here, Miggy. Got a package from um, Debbie and Sherry. What do you got? You want your ball? You want your ball? You brought a toy? You brought a toy when I started filming and I didn't know? Huh? <laughs> oh, you caught that right in the air. Good boy. Good boy. All right, I got to go show them the package we got. Got a package from Sherry and Debbie, and I wanted to share it. Excuse my laundry. I got my bedding on the floor here doing laundry. Um, let me put my camera on this little tripod thing here. All right, guys, sorry if my camera's kind of shaking. Um, it kind of wobbles a little when I first put it on, but... Got a package from um, Debbie and Sherry, and Debbie sent me this walking boot. It's an air cast, and she thought maybe this would help me if I'm having to walk around a lot or stand uh, a lot, that maybe this would help out my plantar fasciitis. And I, I've looked into these. I researched them on Amazon, but I wasn't sure, and I, I didn't want to make the purchase um, to check it out. But thank you so much. I'm so excited to try this. And like when I'm out shopping or doing things, maybe this will help my foot not have that heel pain so bad. And then she sent a package of these, a little like, they're like boot covers that you can put on it too. She also sent Grant a, um, it's called a Snuggle Puppy. And it's for anxiety. And she thought this may be good to have in his crate with him. Um, after his surgery, when he has his uh, masses removed, let's pray. Cross your fingers, guys, that this eye thing is something that's going to get cleared up real fast. So we don't have to worry about it interfering with anything with his surgery. Um, so it says, uh, real feel pulsing heartbeat, physical warmth, medication free, all natural. Calms fear, loneliness, and separation anxiety. I'm really interested in this about for Miggy. Um, cause Miggy is afraid of fireworks. Miggy gets very anxious with thunder. 
Um, so I'm wondering if this would help him too. Um, and she did mention um, uh, in her little note to me that she'll be sending one soon to help Miggy because Miggy <laughs> is terrified. We had a bad storm. Uh, was it Saturday? Yes, it was Saturday. Bad storm come through. Um, had a tornado touchdown four miles north, tad bit east, uh, a little northeast of us, about four miles away. The storm was terrible, and it dropped about it dropped three and a half inches of rain in 45 minutes, and there was flash flooding around the area. It was terrible. It was very scary, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, very scary, and Miggy was freaking out. I had the boys in their crates. Um, yeah, it was, it was a scary situation. Never had so many tornado warnings, um, <laughs> as we've had this year. So weird. Um, anyways, so it hit like a couple houses down from my cousin. I'm so thankful that her house and her and her husband were okay. Um, she was very scared, even more scared than me having it that close to her. But anyways, yeah, I'm really curious to how this will help Miggy too, but this is going to be wonderful for Mr. Grant and for any of the other dogs if they have to have any kind of medical procedure. So thank you so much uh, for sending this. I've seen this before. I don't know if I saw it at PetSmart or on Amazon when I was searching things, but thank you so much. Um, she also sent um, this ball for Miggy. She mentioned in her note to me that she didn't realize that the uh, is it a giggle ball or gaggle ball? Can't remember what it's called. That hard ball that was making all the noise and Milo was going nuts. Oh my goodness. Milo thinks there's an animal in there, I think. <laughs> he goes nuts every time. And she mentioned in her note, let me see here. Um, when I sent Mickey that giggle ball, I really didn't think about how it could affect the rest of the boys and cause so much chaos. So I'm sending him a replacement ball, one that is much quieter and is pack friendly. I just hope he likes it. So, yeah, she sent Miggy a new ball. And this is called a Kong Jumbler. Um, and it has a tennis ball inside there. And then it has these, like, two little handles here where they can grab it um, and carry it. So I'm going to take this outside here in a minute. And we'll see how Miggy likes it. We'll film it. And then she said, Sherry got me this Schnauzer T-shirt. And this is going to fit perfect, Sherry, just so you know. It's got this awesome, colorful Schnauzer on it. I love it, Sherry. Thank you so much. Colorful schnauzer is very fitting because schnauzers are very colorful in their personalities, right? So <laughs> thank you so much. Can't wait to wash it and wear it. So thank you guys for thinking of me. It's so sweet of you and very sweet of you to think, uh, try to help me with my foot. I appreciate it so much. Okay, I'm going to um, I'm gonna get this ball. I'm going to get the tag off. We'll go outside, see how Miggy likes it. And I know Milo is going to try to take it from him. Um, I just know. It's just... That's just what happens. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how Mickey likes it. I know he's going to love it. So we'll be right back. Mickey, Mickey, I got a present for you. Look at, look at this. Look at this ball. Look at this ball. Uh oh, my love. Okay, Mickey, I'm going to throw it. Let's see who gets it. Oh, Mickey got it. <laughs> The ball squeaks too. I didn't realize it. That ball squeaks too, Miggy. <laughs> Think he likes it. He's playing keep away from Milo. He's got to show it off a little. Whenever he gets a new toy, he has to show it off a little to Milo. Milo, here's your bone. Milo brought a bully stick out. Milo. You don't want your bone? He's like, no, I want this ball. I want whatever Miggy has. You showing it off a little, Miggy? Ooh, it's so hot out. I think it hit 90 today. It's not humid, though. Not humid. It's a dry heat. Oh, you want this? Here you go. You can take it. <laughs> oh, um, Milo's like, man. He's got a ball. He's got my bone. I got nothing. <laughs> All right. I got to go in and find a harness for Mr. Grant. Get a leash out. And I'm going to start my car up too and get the air running. Because I know my car is going to be hot. So, um, yeah. So, we'll be back. Um, 
after we take Mr. Grant to the vet. Mr. Grant's over here. He's waiting patiently. Going and get ready. Well, we're back from the vet. And I'm letting Mr. Grant explore the side yard. Since he was a good boy at the vet. They tested him for dry eye in both his eyes. And he has dry eye. Um, and they stained his eye to check for an ulcer. He does not have a corneal ulcer. Thank goodness. Um, so it's the dry eye that's given him the issue. And that's probably what happened last time, but I didn't catch it in time. And since I didn't catch it in time last time, him pawing at his eye probably caused him to have the corneal ulcer. So um, he's going to have to take a um, eye drop in both his eyes twice a day for the rest of his life. Um, it starts with a T. I'll type it here um, on the screen. Um, and she said, she also suggested I get um, some re-wetting eye drops. I guess I can just get them over the counter at the pharmacy um, to give to him too if needed. So um, yeah, so thank goodness no ulcer again. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I've been, ever since he's had that and it's gotten healed, I look at his eyes multiple times a day. So, thank goodness I, oh, you going pee-pee? You find the going pee-pee? <laughs> um, thank goodness I caught it right away. And I had those drops for dry eye in hand because um, it's uh, helped him. So, yeah, so that's what's going on with Mr. Grant. Um, so I'm going to take him in. We're out here in the side yard of the house. Uh, I thought I'd let him explore because he was a good boy. He was good for the dry eye test. They take a little strip of like paper and it has numbers on it. And they have to hold it on your eye for so many seconds. The right eye that's having the problem, I guess 15 and under is considered um, dry eye. So the eye that's having the problems was a 15 and then the, the left eye that's not been having the problems is a 10. So that one was even drier, which surprises me then that the right one's having such issue. But you want to go in the front yard too? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so he was good for that test. And then when she had to stain his eye to check for the, see if he had an ulcer going on, um, he was not happy. No, he wasn't. You want to check out the bird feeders where you always see the squirrels? You can't eat bird food though. No, no, we don't want to eat that. I was going to show you guys over here in my... No, 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 come on. A squirrel. Let's go this way so we can show them something. Don't mind my flower, but it needs to be weeded terribly. But a squirrel planted corn in my flower bed, so now I have a corn stalk growing <laughs> in my flower bed. I think that's so funny. I told my husband we might as well just let it grow. See what happens. Um, yeah, so. Come on, Grant. Let's go in. It's hot. Yeah. It is 90 out. The temperature on my car said 90, so. All right, we're going to go in. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, get the other boys out of their crates. Let them outside. And then i got to cook dinner. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.